In our last video dealing with Django and React, we pulled data in from our API and displayed it on the page. And now we're going to go the other direction. We're going to take data that we're entering into the page and we're going to send it to our API so that it can save our to-dos to the database. And so our, our to-do application is database backed for the data. First thing we're going to do is we're going to modify how we're doing stuff with uh, the API and we're going to convert our generic class based views over to view sets because I feel like it's a better way of dealing with the API. And so with that we're going to do an include for the URLs and we're also going to change the name to to do's view set and then we're going to import default router from our REST framework routers so that we can wire everything up. We're going to create a new default router and we're going to register to do's the string saying hey this is going to be the URL this is attached to. Then we're going to do a to do view set so it can pull in all the information it needs to do and then we're setting the base name to to do's which is useful for quickly naming and using names for URLs. And then finally we're going to go down to our URLs and we're going to change it from API slash to do's to just API and we're going to include our router.urls so it generates all the appropriate URLs for our system to use. And now we have our view set that we're going to write here in a second configured with our URLs. So if we'll go into our views file, we're going to do a couple more imports. We're going to import our some mixins. We're going to create the list model mixin and we're going to do the create model mixin as well. These are going to be used with our generic view set that we're importing. And it's going to specify with our view set that, hey, I only want a list and I only want to create information with this view set. I don't want to update. I don't want to delete. I don't want to do anything else except for a list and create. So with that, we're going to convert to do list view to be to do's view set. And then we're going to import from list model mixin, create model mixin, and generic view set. This makes it quickly easy to understand that, hey, we're having a to do view set. It's a generic view set and we're importing create and list model mixin. So we know exactly what's going to happen. So with that, our API site is done and we're ready to move on to our JavaScript. If we open up our JavaScript file, we're actually going to be doing kind of the same exact thing that we did last time. We're going to modify our action creator and then we're going to go to our reducers and we're going to just slightly tweak it. So we'll go to our add to do action creator and we'll just delete it. We'll do our request and we're going to do an axios.post. We're going to go to the API endpoint of API to do's and we're just going to send it a piece of JSON in this case title and then to do for the data. So it's going to pass it over. The API is going to respond to it accordingly and it's going to return back the data that is needed. And then we're going to do our dispatch method and I explained this in the last video so I'm just putting it here but it's the exact same thing. It's going to call the dispatch to run our data that we received back from the server through the rest of the state process so our reducer can deal with it accordingly. In this case we're returning a type of add to do and then to do is the data. The data that's being returned is the data from the API. So now if we go down to our reducer for add to do, we're going to delete all of this information uh, that is the base object that we were normally using. And this is the actual exact format with an ID completed and title that is returned back from our API. And since we know that, we can remove these five lines and just add in action.todo, which is the data that comes from in our state. And so with that, our state is updated and we're ready to actually start seeing this in action. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do a build. And then we need to run our server and open up the browser. So as you can see, it works. We have our first four to-dos that pulled it in successfully from our API. And so we're actually ready to add some data. So we'll do to do all the things and add to do. And there we have it on the screen. So at the very least at this point, we know that it's adding it properly to state. And if you think it through everything that we just did, you know that, hey, this is actually working because the only data added to state is that data from which is pulled back from the API. Do another one for posterity. So, and now we have two of them. If we jump over to our admin and go into our to-dos, you can see we now have six to-do objects. If we click on the first one, it has add another one, which is the last one that we inserted. 
If we go back and then go to our next one, you'll see we have to do all the things, which is the first to do item that we called. And so there we have it. We have a successfully running to do application with Django and React. This is the final video in our series to be able to teach you to go from nothing to using React in Django. And now you have a great starting point to really jump off and go the rest of the way. You can finish out this to do application or you can go off and, and do your other projects. I hope this has been an informative series and, and I hope you've learned a lot and you can take things away from it. I want to thank you for your time and sticking through this series. Please visit back to gojango.com as we'll have plenty of more content on the way. Thank you and have a great day.